The challenge, measure extreme ocean conditions. This is a swift buoy. This buoy measures waves and properties of the ocean surface. The place, the Pacific Ocean off the Oregon coast. We're measuring extreme conditions at a wave energy test site. So the goal of the project is to understand when a big winter storm comes through, what are the conditions that a wave energy device, a wave power buoy, would need to be able to withstand to operate there and generate electricity there. On other research projects, SWIFTs are routinely deployed from ships. Trouble is, stormy seas can keep ships in port. So to do this project, we've taken a different approach. We decided to airdrop these buoys when the storms came in. And we do that by helicopter. Once we see a forecast that we like, we contact the helicopter company, fly out to the site, it's about 15 miles offshore. They drop the buoys from the helicopter and then the buoys freely drift and they collect data with the big waves rolling through. Helicopter swift deployment permits a rapid response to targeted storm areas. One of the things we're specifically looking for is the presence of big breaking waves in the data set. The Swift Drifter buoys have a GPS unit that they're always using to measure how fast the buoy is moving in any direction. But they also have on board a, an accelerometer based inertial measurement unit. At any moment in time, we can see exactly the orientation of the buoy and then also how fast it's accelerating in that direction. That gives us a lot of information, so it, it lets us know in these big storms how often are the breaking waves happening, and then also how intense are those events. Dropped into stormy seas from a boat or from a helicopter so far appears to make no difference to the swift buoys. The drop itself in this case is not too dissimilar from what they experience uh, being deployed from a ship, maybe a 10 to 20 foot drop into open water. Uh, they can handle that no problem. All the electronics are hard mounted. Once stormy conditions subside, the swifts are recovered by boat or they wash up on the beach. So the big difference between putting these out with a ship and dropping them from the air is that the ship is very limited in where it can go and what it can do during a storm. By doing it from the air, we get the data exactly where, when we want it. So when the conditions get big and the ships have to stay in port, we can still get out and still get data. Science at work for you. This is APL, the Applied Physics Laboratory at the University of Washington in Seattle.